Alright guys, so here's what's happening. On my way over here, I keep on running into these World's End storyline things, and I might as well do them. So this video is going to be about the World's End. I don't think I'm going to put any more of the traveling in there. I don't know how much y'all like that. I have to look at my audience retention ports to really see. But, uh, what's this one called? This one is a Marion Forks Tunnel Nero checkpoint. It's to restore power, but more over so, like, everything. I'm going to go over to Fuse and the power, so let's just do it. Here we go. It's becoming nighttime. The fuel's in here. Or I thought it was. Fuse. Okay, yes. the fuse is in here. <laughs> Can of fuel. Don't know who those people are. Oh god damn it. Fuse blown. <laughs> So that's how you get the fuse on. Well, let's do it. This is how you pour the gas in. That should be it. Okay, some microphones. We got one here. Don't have any uh, way to really take it out other than getting on top. So we're going to get on top. Zombies still have no idea that we're here. There's one right here. There's one right here. And you always want to check the sides. Like right there you see a microphone. And... Oh, strong button. I think there's a microphone over there too. Let's see. You always want to check the poles. Sometimes they're on the poles. I hear a zombie feeding. I was hoping to get the zombie while he was feeding, but I didn't. Okay. <laughs> and there should be one more over here. Hopefully I don't alert the zombies. Can't really uh, predict the future though, can we? Unless you want to hear me talk over the commentary afterwards. Then sure, I'll tell you everything that's going on. I'm not quite sure how to do those though. Like, I could talk in my videos yeah, over... Agreements are good. If I talk over the... Uh, Right. Gameplay. Now let's see what they got there. Then another. Some of y'all won't like that, quarter. but if I do, Not sure, I want to listen to this. Okay. Then some of y'all will like that. I don't know. Yes, neuro injector. I mean, so recently I've been talking over them live, or I've been talking them over after, but I usually don't do both. Thinking about doing both. Yeah, during the downtime, just mm. stick a commentary in. Anyways, that's how you do Marion Forks Tunnel Nero Checkpoint. Was about due for a flu shot. Hello, so I know I'm doing something funky this time, but you just watched me do the uh, Nero Checkpoint between here and 
Price on your head. And which is at the hot springs. So, anyways, now since that is done, we are going to show the footage of me getting there. And I'll edit it appropriately. And if you are wondering about the new update, that's what I'm going to update you about. Alright, so let's read this article. Uh, I'll read the progression issues and the general fixes in just a minute. But the main thing I wanted to talk about was what is Days Gone doing? So what we're seeing and what I'm seeing in a, as far as news articles say, Days Gone is slowing down the patches and they're going to release less patches but that with more fixes. So they're just going to release like more updates just and like every single patch is going to be bigger than they usually are right now. So that's something and they're trying to make sure it runs smoothly for all players and oh, shit, I think that's great. I am oh, looking man, forward to what they might be bringing later around. on and I'll talk about that in just a second too. And so you might be asking, what did they fix? Well, they fixed uh, a Playgo issue with the uh, main screen not showing any selectable options. They fixed uh, lines not crossed. Right. They fixed Where? didn't want to join up. They have the new decal, Dead Don't Ride, where you can get at certain mechanics. Okay. Uh, the HUD now Let's shows go. whenever you press R3, uh, if you're playing in survival difficulty. Yes. When you're low at health, the screen sh effect should appear correctly during survival difficulty. Updated the text for survival difficulty startup screen. And corrected an issue where the trophy, don't stop me now, was rewarded prior to completing the requirements. The executioner skill should now functionally pro operate against breakers. So that is what they fixed. And now we're going to talk about what's coming up. So the article doesn't talk about this, but they are bringing 12 weekly challenges to the game where you can get stuff from those challenges like credits and whatnot. And that's going to be pretty cool. You can buy rings, which help you with other challenges. Or you can buy, uh, or you can buy decals and stuff or cosmetics. And I think that's pretty cool. It's going to give you more stuff to do in the game and I can't look I just can't wait for the first mission I heard that it's gonna be a infinite onslaught of zombies so yeah that's pretty much everything I had to talk about thank you for watching and I'll talk to all of you later make sure to give this video a like and a comment and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already peace out guys thank you for watching my series